Hi everyone, thanks for joining me. Today I'm going to walk you through how I made this super cute V-Kind infusible ink t-shirt using a Cricut infusible ink t-shirt, Cricut infusible inks, and the Cricut Easy Press. This is super easy and I have the file shared in the description below the video if you'd like to make one. I would love to see your version. So let's get started. So this is a Cricut infusible ink blank. We know that because it has the infusible ink emblem right here. You cannot use infusible ink on a plain cotton shirt. It must be a high blend of polyester. Cricut has come up with what they feel is the very best solution in t-shirts. So I am using a Cricut blank for this t-shirt. Um, this is a youth small. Evie wears probably a 4T. So this might be slightly big on her, but I think it's going to be just fine. So again, this is a youth uh, small infusible ink shirt from Cricut. All right. So the first thing we need to do, I have cut my design and I have already weeded everything. If you have never weeded infusible ink, it's very different than weeding vinyl. So I left this piece unweeded. What I did was go ahead and cut it out and then I cut close to it, but I haven't weeded it. When you weed infusible ink, you just kind of bend it back and forth. It's called cracking and you kind of just break the, the cut, and then you can just literally weed it by your fingers. You don't need a weeding tool. In fact, you don't wanna use a weeding tool because you'll risk scratching the ink. You wanna to touch your transfer ink as little as possible. You're probably going to touch it some, but touch it as little as possible. Make sure your hands are dry, uh, lotion-free, so that you don't pick up any ink or put any fingerprints into your design. So you can see how easily I weeded that. All right, when you cut infusible ink, you're going to do just like iron on. You're going to make sure that you click mirror. Everything's going to be mirrored. You're going to put it pretty side up on the mat. So this grid side is going to be down on the mat. Reverse your image, mirror your image, and then go ahead and cut it out. So once you've cut all of this out, and again, I trimmed it pretty closely to the design. It's still on the transfer paper. So now it's time to prepare our t-shirt. So the first thing you want to do when using a t-shirt, I've got mine on a cutting board. You don't need this. My table is a little bit wonky, a little bit uh, warped. So I don't want that to affect my transfer. So I just put a solid surface under here so that I make sure I get a nice solid press. But I do have a Cricut Easy Press mat and I'm going to stick that inside my t-shirt. just like so. And I'm going to make it so that that neckline is right at the edge of the shirt. There we go. The next thing I need to do is take a piece of plain white cardstock and I'm going to place that on top of the easy press mat under the shirt. And this just needs to be as big as your design is. All right. So now I have my shirt uh, heating sandwich ready. The next thing you want to do is always lint roll the area that you're going to be pressing. I can't stress that enough. If you do not and you have little pieces of lint on your shirt, it will pick up the ink and then when that lint comes off, the ink will be gone. So you want to make sure that you remove any lint. This is a brand new out of the package shirt and you can see, hopefully, I'm still picking up a lot of fuzziness. Um, and fibers off of the shirt. So make sure that you always lint roll your shirt. The next thing we're going to do, I'm actually, I think I'm gonna swap this out and get a larger piece of cardstock because this is larger than my Easy Press. I'm using the uh, large Easy Press, so I wanna make sure that I have complete coverage. So I'm gonna grab another piece of cardstock. So I've got a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock. I'm gonna use that instead so that I can make sure that I have complete coverage. So let's stick that in there. And what this is going to do is protect my easy press mat. It's gonna protect the back of my shirt from getting any ink transferring through the fabric. All right, so we've got our shirt. We've got the easy press mat. We've got a piece of cardstock. We have lint rolled it. 
Now I'm going to take my piece of butcher paper. There's a piece of butcher paper for every sheet of infusible ink that comes in your box. You're gonna put your infusible or your butcher paper down on top of your t-shirt and you're going to pre-press. And I'm just gonna pre-press that for a few minutes. These are the colors of infusible ink I used over here, just in case you wanna see them. All right, so I have pre-pressed. I'm gonna remove the butcher paper. Be careful, this gets very hot. Uh, so now I'm going to put my design down. So I'm going to start with the largest part of my rainbow. And this is a hand painted um, image. So it doesn't have to be perfectly straight. It's supposed to look hand drawn. But I'm putting that face down and that looks pretty good. Then I'm going to take my next one. Put that face down. Trying to film. I want you to notice this is what it looks like after it's cut. This is what the box looks like. So once it's transferred, it's going to be much more of this color than this color. So don't be alarmed when you open the box and it looks much more muted. And here's my last one. And again, this is that blue. I'm going to put that down. So I'm making sure that none of my transfer tape is overlapping under the infusible ink itself, making sure everything is pushed down exactly the way I want it. And then I'm going to take the word and put that down. And I think I'm going to trim this down just a little bit and make sure that I don't hit my transfer paper from the rainbow. And I'm going to set that right here. And that looks pretty good. So I've got my Easy Press set to 385 for 40 seconds. This is the Easy Press 2. Again, this is the large one. So what I'm going to do is put my butcher paper right over my shirt. Make sure I've got my sandwich, my Easy Press mat, my cardstock, my design. I'm looking at the grid side of the design. I'm going to put my butcher paper down. I'm going to pick up my Easy Press unit and I'm going to put this straight down. I'm not going to move it in any way once it's on the shirt. Just going to put it straight down and apply a nice firm pressure, but not anything uncomfortable. So I'm just lightly pushing down and I am going to press the timer. Once the timer goes off, you're just going to lift it straight up, put it back in the cradle. I'm going to remove my butcher paper. Again, be very careful. This is hot. And as soon as this is cool enough that I can touch it, I am going to start peeling this backing off. I'm going to let it cool just a moment. And then I can remove it. Sometimes the backing comes off with it. Sometimes you have to pick that off separately, but usually it'll come off. And there you have it. That turned out so cute. And look how vibrant those colors are compared to the boxes. They're almost spot on. You can see this blue next to the blue. So how cute is that? Evie's gonna love it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you'd like to see more videos using Cricut Infusible Ink, I will link my Infusible Ink playlist in the description below the video. Also have the Cricut Design Space file for this particular design. It does use Cricut Access images, so if you have Cricut Access, this will be free for you to use. If you don't, you might have to purchase one of the images or the font. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please like, subscribe, and share. Don't forget to click that bell so that you're notified every time there is a new video. As always, never stop making. See you guys. Bye-bye.